I'm Julie Kirsten, an archivist here at the Seattle Municipal Archives. I'm going to take you on a short tour of our immediate access vault. Our immediate access vault is adjacent to our offices, so it provides easy access for us to the things that we use more often and that researchers request more often. So let's take a look at a few of the things that we keep up here. Some of our most frequently used records are our departmental annual reports. These can be a great way to research what's been going on in a department in a given year. Um, you can track programs and projects over multiple years, and it has a great set of summary information for what that department was up to in a given year. This is a small sample of our Parks Department reports. Another thing we have here in the archives is records of independent cities that were later annexed into Seattle. And this is an example of ordinances from the city of Ballard. We also have records from West Seattle, uh, Columbia City, Georgetown, South Park. They were all independent cities before they were part of Seattle. And so they had their own city councils, their own ordinances and their own records. And so we have inherited those along with um, the towns themselves. So in these big flat files, we keep large format items like maps, drawings, blueprints, posters, other things that are too big to fit in boxes. In the drawers, we keep things in giant acid-free folders, and many of the maps are kept in mylar inside to protect them. This is one of my favorite maps. This is from 1890, and you can get a sense of how patchy the development was of Seattle at that time. We have some scrapbooks in our collection. This one was put together by a City Light employee, and here he's got a lot of photos of his coworkers taken in the office. It's kind of neat to go through and see some of the workers at the time who aren't necessarily documented at length in the more official records. Another set of scrapbooks that we keep in the Intermediate Access Vault are these City Light scrapbooks um, highlighting their advertising and graphics from about the 50s to the 70s. And it can be fun to flip through and see the kinds of things they were doing. There's lots of stuff about appliances. They were in the stage of encouraging people to go electric for their appliances, um, giving appliances as gifts. And this is sort of fun from our current perspective. Here's one saying, we're gonna have electric cars by 1972. So these are a great way to sort of look through and see what they were promoting to consumers over those 25 or so years. Another thing we have is original city charters. And as you can see, they are handwritten with quite lovely handwriting. Another one of our most frequently used collections is our Don Sherwood Parks History Collection. And this contains a lot of great summary information and photographs of parks back all through Seattle's history. One of the items in this collection is this book. This is a map of the old cemetery in Seattle that became Denny Park. So here's a map of the cemetery with notes on who's buried where. And then this book is a notation of where all the bodies were moved to. Adjacent to our immediate access vault, we have our processing room. So this is where a lot of the work happens. A couple big tables where we can spread out. We come in here when we've got work that needs a little more space than our desks allow. Lots of stuff in progress. This is where our volunteers work. We have a couple of computer workstations. We have a scanning station set up, some of the film equipment. So this is where a lot of our work happens in here. So there's a quick look at our immediate access vault. Please let us know if there's anything that sparked your curiosity and you want to know more about. Thanks.